Monster Personal Wearable Speaker Boomerang. Yes, yes, what's going on, people? Tech Jamo. Now we're out here with the Monster Boomerang, fam. Like that. That naming convention there is wild. I guess it kind of does look like a boomerang. I think I've reviewed something like this before from Bose. They make a similar neck speaker Bluetooth kind of thing which goes around your neck. So let's get this unboxed and see what's really good. Big shout out to Monster by the way for hooking this up for review. I'll just leave this here. A little mise en scene. Okay, look at this guys. You know, you know when it's monster, yeah? They've always got that piff, piff unboxing cut. You know like that. Okay, pre the ting though, pre the ting fam. Let me, let me get that out. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Because I've... You see the Bose ones here, yeah? the Bose ones are 280 and when you hold them, they've got a little bit of weight to them and the materials are kind of a mixture of rubber and hard plastics, so it feels quite premium. Um, this actually feels the same, I've tested some cheaper ones before and they felt bare flimsy, I think they were just hard plastic all around, so it didn't even accommodate my neck, but I can see by the flex of this, yeah, yeah we're there still. We're there, we're there guys, we're, we're there. What, what is in this little box here? I don't even know what this little box is for. Let me see what's going on here. It must be like a USB or something. All right, we've got a little USB C thing going on here. Lovely jubbly. And we just got bare literature, no stickers. God damn it. Okay. So yeah, these look all right fam. Have a, have a little look at those. On this side, you've got a couple of buttons here. It looks like a power button, maybe a pairing button and a volume up and down. Um, on that middle bit there, you've got the logo and ting. And you've got these two little gold accents which really do feel high quality. And then you've got nothing going on on this side at all. But yeah, no, nah, it does, it, it feels good. Oh, you've got a little, is that a little, charging thing there's can you guys see that there's a little charging thing here i'll show it to you in the b-roll if you can't um there's a little charging thing here where you can plug it in the USB-C. it almost looks like it's one of these waterproof ones and let me just how do i close that now do i just close that back let me close that back okay let's put it on so let me let's try and connect it let me hold the on button discovering oh okay your device is connected all right, so my phone is connected to it. Um, let me start listening to some stuff and I'll get back to you. Not cold, uh, I'm not cold, uh, cold? <laughs> Is your dog okay? Yeah. Alright people them, so we've been listening to the Monster Boomerang wearable speakers for a couple, couple hours now and first of all I just want to talk about the comfort, now the comfort is on point and I'm, I'm coming from a point where man doesn't really have a neck, <laughs> you know like that like man, man don't really have a neck here but this thing just sits on my neck and it minds its own business, it don't feel like it's crowding my neck or anything. Obviously, it's subjective. A lot of people don't like stuff around their neck. A lot of people don't like stuff over their head in terms of those type of headphones. And a lot of people don't even like things to be in their ear canal kind of thing. So yeah, it, it's subjective. It depends what you like, but these around the neck, they're cool fam. They're just no stress at all. Now the sound, I, I was really impressed with the sound. Like way I would say it is that it's got crystal clear quality and in fact I really want to test it against the Bose companion um, Bluetooth speaker headset thing because I remember that sounding like bare clear and bare crystal quality but this this shocked me fam especially at the price point that they're coming from Monster I mean I know it is Monster but 
I was kind of shocked compared to the other personal audio devices that I've tested from Monster recently. Like this, this is the best thing that they're doing at the moment, hands down. Now the highs, the mids are there and in terms of bass, it's more the kicks are there, like the fuds and the kicks, boom, boom. The, you know, them things are there. But that sub bass, that rumble, not there at all. And obviously because of the size of the headset, it's very hard for the headset to make that kind of vibration um, with it being so small kind of thing. Now it does vibrate on your neck, especially when you get a kick and it's quite, it's quite cool actually. Um, kind of like a little vibration motor, a little haptic motor around your neck kind of thing. But yeah, the, the bass is where it's, it's where it's the weakest kind of thing. Now, a lot of you might be wondering like, can you hear it when I'm wearing it? I think, let me just, let me just show you. I'm gonna play some music from it right now, actually. Right, this is the lowest volume it can go. Can, can you guys hear that? I'm gonna put it up to halfway volume now. You guys can probably hear that. Do you know what? There's actually a lot more low end when you have it at a lower volume, but when you put it to the high end, it just chucks away the low end tones and thing like that. And it's like, yeah, yeah, let's get highs in, let's get mids in, and that'll be cool fam. I think it's good for all genres of music, but especially for podcasts and stuff like that, this would definitely be a shout. Now, one thing that I forget to always talk about when I'm using one of these kind of headsets is the call quality. Like, can the person on the other line hear what Man of Man is saying? And I've used it on video calls, I've used it on normal calls, and it's perfect. Like, the person on the other line doesn't even know that I'm using a Bluetooth speaker. I don't know what it does, I don't know where the microphones are, but it seems to be quite decent, even when there's a lot of noise going on around me. So um, yeah, cool quality is actually a plus. It's, a, it's definitely a shout. I love just leaving my phone in one part of the house and then just walking with these around the house and continuing my conversation as per normal. Like, yeah, no, the Bluetooth signal strength is there. I'm actually impressed with these guys. I'm not gonna lie. And that's coming from using the Bose Companion sound air, whatever they're called, the neck speakers that Bose do. Fam, those are like 280 and I'm sure they are exactly the same quality as these. I think with those Bose ones, you could put them, you could take them out of the case that they're kind of in kind of thing and you could swap the mesh color and stuff like that. So you can't do that with these, but fam, I'm, I'm telling you, serious, serious, serious things. Yeah, Monster. You, you've done well on this one still. You, this is a plug. This is definitely a plug. But anyway, guys, if you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell and a little like button for that young YouTube algorithm. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right.